A very good afternoon. My name is Alok Srivastava and I welcome you once again to Network Nuts YouTube channel. So, are you a man, a woman or a geek? So, I hope you like the wallpaper. How you find it? So, I think I am a mix between man and geek. Yo. So, what's next or what's in this video? I have got a very beautiful thing for you in this video. I am going to show you how to take remote backup of Linux servers using our snapshot tool. Let me show you a basic idea. I have uh, created a beautiful masterpiece picture for this video, an uh, illustrated one. Let me show you. Wow! Look at the beauty I have created. The idea behind the video is that, suppose I am here, it's my machine running rel server, so the color is red and I want to take backup of some important files or folders of these blue servers. So how can I use our snapshot that stands for remote file system snapshot. I will be using our snapshot tool to take the backup of these remote machines on my local server. So either you can use like SCP or rsync but, the, but there are a couple of advantages associated with our snapshot and I recommend you to use our snapshot for, for uh, taking the backup of your remote Linux servers. The first thing is that our snapshot tool it takes the backup of your remote Linux server using rsync over SSH. As it is being mentioned here, it uses rsync command over the SSH. You can also use our snapshot for taking local backup. Means I can use the, uh, the R snapshot for taking the backup on this machine from this machine, local backup. If I'm taking the local backup or the local snapshots, then only the rsync will be used. Rsync over SSH will be used while you are taking remote snapshots. So local snapshots are being handled by rsync and the remote snapshots are being handled by rsync over SSH. That makes sense. And our snapshot, it can take incremental snapshots of local and remote file system for any number of Linux machine. That is good. And the best thing about our snapshot is that it uses hard links to a very good extent. So I just mentioned out in a point here, it saves the hard space to great extent. If a file doesn't change, then the next snapshot will simply be a hard link to the same file. I hope that makes sense and the point is clear. Suppose if I've got a file here and it is being already backed up here and in, in the uh, next R snapshot event, there nothing has been changed in this file. So the next time the sn R snapshot will merely create a hard link for the already existing file. It will not copy the same file again as nothing has been changed there. So enough of talking, what are the steps? The first step is, is that you need to download the R snapshot tool from www.rsnapshot.org and install it. So means you should have access to your uh, internet so if just go to chrome or open any of the browsers and write here rsnapshot.org that's it and here you can download it it is free available total open source internet is slow i don't know why not to talk to Airtel. they have changed the logo but they hadn't changed the infrastructure i think Okay, you can just easily go to downloads and download your R snapshot tool. Oh, here it comes. So you can download it for Debian, SUSE, Ubuntu, Mandriva, and there are all the things. So I have just downloaded this RPM package for this particular video. So after downloading the package, I'll show you. So I just completed the first step and you need to install it. So what again, I've got my trusted virtual machine here for you. So here I logged in, I had downloaded the video here, oh sorry, the R snapshot tool and I, I had already installed it using the rpm-ivh command that I had already done. So I am not going to uh, execute the command again but you need to do this. Second step is that you should prepare your server for passwordless authentication using SSH on remote server. So it means if I am going to use our snapshot from this machine 
to take the backup of this machine so you should first generate your ssh keys on this server using your ssh hyphen t dsa command and then send your keys to the remote server and using the ssh hyphen copy id command so it means on my machine i should be giving ssh hyphen key gen oh i forgot the command sorry ssh hyphen key gen hyphen t dsa or rsa whatever first you create your keys after you create the keys then give go to dot ssh folder and give ssh hyphen copy id hyphen d id underscore dsa dot pub root add in my example i am using the ip address 192 dot 168 dot 0 dot 254 just I'll make it much better just to decrease the size of the font that's it so i can after creating after creating the keys you uh, using ssh hyphen key gen hyphen t dsa command you should be copying your key ssh hyphen copy id hyphen i id underscore dsa dot pub to root at or whatever remote server you are heading to 192.168.0.254 in my case i'll be giving this particular command so what will happen my key i'm not uh, executing the command here my key will be going on the remote server and will be saved under the authorized underscore keys so i i can cross check it so means if i am hitting it i should be able to do a passwordless authentication that is good means if it is done that means my job is done i can move to the next step that is fine so what is the next step next step is that once you had done you had prepare your server for the passwordless authentication you should be editing the etc r snapshot.conf file let me show you so once you install this package you have got a single configuration file etc r snapshot open this file and you need to do a couple of changes just read it carefully make sure and one thing is that you use the tab here as the spaces not the space bar look this file require tab between elements not the spaces and the directory should be be mentioned by a trailing slash so this is the right way to uh, refer a directory rather than this i'll just show you the basic uh, configuration and you need to learn about it a lot because there are a lot of features in the r uh, in this r snapshot couple of things that you need to know is that your back your backups will automatically be stored under a hidden folder dot snapshots this folder will automatically be created you need not to create this just make sure that you should be knowing the path r snapshot root that's great just move down a bit i'm just i'll be just showing you the relevant commands or the things right now because i am doing a remote backup you i should be uncommenting this particular command look uncomment this to enable remote as such backup over rsync by default it is not activated so just uncomment this that makes sense and if you move down a bit there are backup intervals you you can take it for hourly daily i'm just showing you a very small thing move down a bit move down just leave it all these things for now if you're doing the local backup then i will be using all these things but because i'm using a remote backup so anywhere here under like after the example.com anywhere here i write here backup root at 192.168.0.254 colon etc slash wait i done something wrong what after the backup i should be pressing tab not the space root at 192.168.0.254 colon slash etc again tab and where you want it say i want my server etc slash that means i want to take the backup of the whole etc folder which is on my server 254 into a server 
a folder automatically created my server hyphen etc remember this folder will be created under dot snapshots folder what we had already learned so i'm just showing this although i can use a couple of more options like i i can exclude a particular folder i can do this but right now i'm not doing this i'm just making it very simple keep it simple save and come out that is the only thing that you need to write here backup a tab here here comes the tab root at the server because i had already created the sh keys on this then again tab and the folder name save and come out then what so i had just done the step number three also i can check whether my configurations are correct or not using r snapshot config test command so before i execute anything i do r snapshot config test whoa everything is perfect it is giving me syntax okay now what i can use the cron tab i can easily use the cron tab command to write the path i can use say where is r snapshot because i need to know the name exact location for the binary it is under usr bin r snapshot fine that makes sense so i if if i just show the one uh, simple example i can for if i can just give usr bin r snapshot and say i give hourly means i am taking a hourly backup that's it just give this command to test your configuration you had already checked the syntax now check whether is the backup actually coming onto your local hard disk or not so means from here it should come on my machine that makes sense just press enter and wait wait means something is happening why because it is taking the whole etc from my server into my dot snapshot folder and will create a folder with the name of my server just wait for a minute the wait time will depend upon the size of the data so just wait 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 keep on waiting keep on waiting keep on waiting keep on waiting it should be done by now come on hoo ha keep on saying hoo ha it makes your communication faster no i am not serious ha 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 just wait some activity is going on and it is just on the verge of finishing just wait it's good that it's taking its time it means i have done all the things right sometime waiting is good but the partner should be good in case you are waiting somewhere hoo ha naughty just wait come on come on come on come on i can see here look here there some activity is going on here here it is communication on my lan card and i see just wait it should be done by now finish it guys finish it you too slow some hardest activities are is again going on that's find out okay dan 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 i think i should be using some super computers kind of stuff for the next video i'm hope i am very optimistic as everything is going on right because i can see some network activity up here here it is because i am actually i'm using wifi oh yo done that's great so now if i go to cd snapshot sorry i go to slash and i go to snapshots you you can see there say go to hourly one i had already done this lab so i go to hourly zero here it is look here here is a folder here my server etc this will be automatically be created in this i have got my etc and here i have got everything the whole etc from my server is coming up here the whole etc whole etc whole etc that's great that makes sense so in this manner you can just take the remote backup of your servers those will be using the r snapshot tool so you need to learn a lot actually about this as i'll, I'll tell you 
these snapshots will be rotated automatically so these things you need to learn that what will happen when you rotate the like the things and all the options here so by but the major objective was to get the whole etc from my server into my local virtual machine so here it is that's the idea behind the r snapshot and it has executed the purpose successfully so i hope you like the video thank you very much god bless see you again soon time to what's the time time to shut the video stop the video stop thank you guys